We're back. <laughs> we are gonna make a skull cap tincture. I am so excited because I have never worked with this plant because I've never found this plant in the wild. Except now, I found her at the school that I work at in Catskill on this beautiful, beautiful land. And this is Skullcap. It was one of those moments where, because I've never seen her in the wild, I, I like saw this purple flower growing while I was with the kids on a walk. And I ran over and I looked at her and I looked at her little beautiful heads that are kind of starting to wilt because I harvested her a couple hours ago now. And I looked and I said, you are Skullcap. <laughs> I just knew it. I was like, this is Skullcap. This is Skullcap. Because you know, guys, it's like, to be an herbalist is a lifetime because there are so many plants to learn about and your journey really never ends. So like brand new plant for me. Like I know about Skullcap and I've bought dried Skullcap and made a tincture, but like to have a fresh plant that is growing natively on the land in which you go to every single day is so special. So she has a square stem. Mira, that's a square stem, which means she's technically in the mint family, but she's Scalitaria is her Latin name. And I mean, she's just wonderful. Let me see if I can try and get a good image for you all. Oh, skull cap. I'm so excited. I really am. So really easy, friends. We're going to make a tincture. So we just need our jar, any size you want. I just washed mine out real nice and good. This is um, a quart size jar. You need your bottle of vodka. I always use vodka and I use 100 proof vodka. And the reason why I use 100 proof vodka is because... I don't have to do any complicated math after I do my tincture. So once I know that I'm doing 100 proof, that means that I will have an end result of 50% water and 50% alcohol for my fresh plant matter tincture. And then I don't have to do any math and it's not grain alcohol. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into it, but I like using 100 proof. So it doesn't really matter the brand. Organic alcohol is always preferred, but you get what you can get, right? So let's talk about Skullcap. Well, she's called Skullcap. So energetically, from what I know about this plant, she's really good when your crown chakra is a little too open, which you wouldn't think would be even a thing, right? It's like, yeah, you want your crown chakra open. But also, you know, sometimes you need that boundary and you need to know when it's time to close it and ground down. So, you know, people who are maybe like really uh, lofty and airy and um, I'm just going to take all of her out. Um, people who need to put a cap on the dome. <laughs> I had a really good day, I just have to say. I had a really magical day and I'm just like completely buzzing from dopamine and serotonin because we had field day at school and my station was the hula hoop station. So there I was out on the lawn with groups of kiddos at a time looking at the Catskill Mountains in the distance at my gorgeous school that I work at and um, playing beats and hula hooping with the kids and just like getting them into like moving and isolating their their root chakra and their sacral chakra it's just gorgeous and then after that we had a dance party with a proper dj who's really amazing and we danced and danced and danced and sweat and sweat and sweat and it was really really hot so i'm still buzzing from the dopamine and the serotonin from being around kids and you know having the luxury of saying that that's my job so anyway then I went and got skullcap up in the field and so okay back to her property so she's a really amazing nervine which means she's good for the nervous system she's really calming she's good for anxiety and she's also loaded 
with uh, melatonin. So yes, guess what? She also helps you sleep. Um, which is predominantly what she's kind of famous for. Most people know her as, you know, sleep medicine. So, um, so she's good for that. What else? She's good for like PMS and she's good for cramps because she's an antispasmodic, which means that she, she's good for, uh, so that's for like cramping, muscle tension, all that kind of thing. And she's safe for children. So I thought that was really beautiful that there she was growing on the land in which all my little kiddos run around on. And she's really good for like, you know, um, uh, freak outs, for anxiety attacks, for when you're feeling really overwhelmed and you really need to just like chill out. Um, and safe for children, which I didn't know either until I looked it up when I just got home. So... Yeah, very, very, very exciting new plant ally. So you guys get the gist. Here's, here's, here's filling the jar. I'm gonna do the rest of these blooms here. You really don't need to, um, I mean, I don't really measure. If I was doing a dry plant tincture, maybe I would measure. But when it comes to doing fresh plant matter, you just wanna kinda cut it up a little bit so that you're getting as, um, as much surface area as possible for the alcohol to penetrate and break the cell wall and the alcohol soluble properties can leach out into the menstruum, which is our alcohol. <laughs> and isn't it crazy that alcohol is also called spirits? Well, I'll tell you why, because it strips the spirit out of whatever it's in. So it's literally taking the spirit from this plant. Thank you so much, Skullcap. You are going to be honored and you're going to be loved and you're going to help and you're going to heal in so many beautiful ways. But like, think about that. Like, think about that next time you want to like drink a lot of alcohol and like you're actually very intoxicated, which is something I did a lot in my life. So I know what that's like. And it's like, okay, do you really want your spirit to just be like, Anyhow, okay, that's good. Good amount. So then, easy schmeasy, <laughs> get your vodka, and you pour it in. And you always want to pour your menstruum all the way to the tippy tippy top. Because otherwise, there's going to be air, and that means oxidation and um you don't and then your tincture will start to possibly ferment so you really want to get it all the way as far as possible up to the top before you cap it and now i always take the cap off like a day or two later because it because it settles and sometimes you have to top it up again and you really want to make sure that literally it is up to the top so thank you skull cap thank you so much Thank you for offering yourself to me today. Thank you for looking so gorgeous and purple up in that field that I spied you and knew exactly who you are. Thank you for growing and being such beautiful medicine and helping people chill. 